What's up guys, it's Josh and we're back again with another video. Today's video is going to be part two in my series where I help you get into your dream school. The topic of the day is AP and IB classes. While I was in high school, I took 15 AP classes and I believe they are an integral part of the college application process. In this video, I'll be discussing the role that AP classes and AP test scores play in the college application process, as well as giving you some of my tips on what AP classes you should take and how to handle an AP course load. Let's get into it. AP classes serve three main purposes when looking at the college application process as a whole. First, they boost your weighted GPA, which can cover up any minor slip-ups you may have had in some of your other classes. Second, they show the admissions officers that you took a rigorous course load and really challenged yourself. Regardless of your GPA, if the admissions officers see that you did not back down from a challenge, this can really strengthen your application. Finally, AP scores give authenticity to the grades that they see on your transcript. Like I said in the last video, a strict teacher can really trash your grade in a class, but AP test scores can help cover that up. For example, if you pulled a B minus average in your BC Calc class, but then they look at your AP scores and see a five, they will assume that you put some work in the class and your teacher was a hard grader and forget about that B minus they see on your transcript. Remember, the admissions officers are human and they do understand this type of thing. All right, now you're probably wondering which AP classes you should take and how many you can handle in a year. My first recommendation is to pursue your passion. If you like math, you should obviously take BC Calc, Statistics, and Comp Sci, but you should also dabble in other areas. Don't be afraid to take an AP English or History classes. The admissions officers like to see that you explored everything that was offered. Like I said last time, you're gonna have to experiment to strike the right balance between pursuing classes that you love and taking classes that may be outside of your comfort zone. Personally, my strategy in high school, which probably wasn't the best, was to take as many AP classes as I possibly could. They were like little merit badges and I had to have all of them. My advice to you would be to not do what I do. Do not take seven AP classes in a single year unless you're absolutely sure you can handle it because that was a nightmare. Good time management is key to surviving AP classes in one piece. During my junior and senior year, I spent every free moment either studying or doing homework because I knew I would have to stay up late for baseball after school. You will have to learn to accept the fact that you will not have a lot of free time. And that's okay. At least for me, I do not feel productive unless I'm working all the time. Along with time management, organization is also very important. Try to keep your planner or calendar updated with all upcoming assignments and tests, as well as organizing your class notes for easy accessibility. I can go into more detail on my study methods and philosophies in future videos if you guys would like. All right, you've made the decision that you're gonna load your whole schedule up with the AP classes. Here are my tips. First, I recommend taking the right classes during the right years of high school. What I mean is that you should absolutely not take BC Calc, AP Chem, and AP Physics C all in one year because these are known as hard classes with a lot of work and you don't want to take them all together. Instead, pair Calc and Physics with an easier AP class like Micro or Macroeconomics one year and save Chem for the next year. This simple planning can go a long way in ensuring your success in high school AP classes. My final tip pertains to the actual AP exams themselves. Do as well as you possibly can. These exams matter a lot more than you think they do. Like I said, good scores can provide authenticity to your application. I do plan on making a series of videos in the future where I go through each AP exam that I took and give you guys an outline of my experience and tips for the exam. So comment down below if that's something you guys would like to see. As a final disclaimer for some of you out there, I know that every school does not offer 15 AP classes. Some schools may not even offer them at all. If you are in this position, do not worry. The admissions officers take into account what school you attended and what courses are offered there. As long as you are challenging yourself and taking the hardest classes offered at your school, it doesn't matter if they're AP or IB. All right, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something. If you found this video helpful, Drop a like and hit that big red subscribe button to support more content in the future. Comment down below any questions or concerns or what you thought of the video. I try to respond to everyone. As always, I'll be back again tomorrow at 3 p.m. with another video. See you soon.